a little bit of kind of a, um, a day long panel kind of a thing or different speakers talking about their experiences with neurofeedback. So that's the context. So again, any references to products and or companies or individuals that's not being promoted here really lean into hearing her experience of the opportunity and the value. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. Um, I have and so I went into this training with that mentality, with um, the excitement and enthusiasm that I can train my brain to be a peak performer because God knows I only could go up. And so I went in there and you know I was sitting with the electrodes on my head. I had a really nice comfy chair and I was looking at a screen, not that big, but pretty big. And I'm making these games go supposedly with the power of my brain and the energy in my body. And half the time I was like, am I getting punked? Like what? This can't be real, right? But then, obviously, you know, so many things in life are a leap of faith, and and I started noticing change, and I and I I went full, you know, full on committed, and I still was working with Gervais, and this work was taking me places. And in London, um, the last Olympics, I felt like I was a different athlete. I just felt like I was in the flow more, and I was able to tap into that. And I'm addicted to the flow. Like I talk fast, I run fast. I'm. I'm an up person and I aspire to be the Zen monk. It's never gonna happen, but I can be my own version of that and that's what I'm working toward. And, and just the fact that this is gonna be a mobile device that I can bring with me on the road when I'm in China, you know, trying not to look at what I'm eating and just, you know, all the different stressors and everything. And I, when I'm in Brazil trying to take on the world and I plan to win a gold medal in Rio in 2016. I absolutely, it's gonna happen. That's my goal. Um, I'm trying not to be focused on the outcome, but um, I know where I want to go. <laughs> and I'm, I'm invested in the process, and this is going to be a huge part of my process. Um, I, I've seen it change not only, again, I'm a, I'm a mommy. I'm a very proud wife and mom and working mother. My whole life I want to be a working mother like my mom. She, she kills it. She's amazing. Um, and I wanted that, but it's a lot. And to be the, at the best of my best, I know that... I will obviously, from head to toe, you know, I'll have to be strong and in tune physically, but mentally is where it's at. And um, at the top level, you know, I just, I, I want whatever's gonna allow me to transcend. And this is gonna allow me to transcend. And I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really excited for where you're going. And um, yeah, just sign me up. So thank you guys for having me. All right, very good, thanks. Um, the, um important thing about Carrie is like she was able to articulate how this is integrated into many other pieces of the mental performance side of things. So like skills, uh, skill development. Um. Joe Hanks is an undefeated heavyweight boxer. Still, he knows what it's like to feel anxious or lose focus in the ring. But Hanks has found a way to control his mind. It's a therapy called neurofeedback. And for the last two years, Hanks has traveled to Neurotopia in Marina del Rey to condition his brain to be less anxious and more focused. I think it's probably harder to come here than it was to get in the ring because now I have to hear about what's wrong with my brain. It was a very nervous process because it was like, you know, um, no one wants to hear that their brain is moving too slow or their brain is making too many mistakes. It's a map, and it's literally a map of your brain. Once we have a great picture and image, we'll be able to train to really enhance your brain. It was a fun experience for me to realize how important the brain is to your body. I remember just my dad telling me, you know, if your brain takes over your body, you can overcome anything. I try to, you know, improve on my mental toughness on a, on a daily basis. You know, in games, you know, in the fourth quarter comes around, you know, that guy's tired, you know, I'm tired. The only thing that you have at that point is, is your mind. So we're going to get you hooked up and you're going to get instant feedback of when you're locked in and focused. So